Well, hello everybody. Hello. And welcome. What are we doing today? We thought we'd do a little Q and A. Q and A. Uh, people call them tags. Yes. I don't know why. Yeah. But they do. Um, so we're going to do a little tag. Well, I think we're supposed to sort of tag somebody else, and that's why they, you know, say mm. you. You answer these as well. Yes, yeah, that's right. You can tag someone else but, and get them to answer. Yeah, them. but we're just going to do them. We've got mm. a big list. Yeah. But we're just going to do ten. Yes. And it's going to be. I think we did the first ten. Just got, ooh, six months ago. Mm. So we're going to do number twenty to twenty-nine. Mm. And we haven't looked at them because I think that's best. So you don't have time to think about them. Oh, it'll be a surprise. Because I've just shuffled the paper and just turned them over. Oh, so God. we're just going to like read them out quickly and then do them mm. Mm. Well, I'm a bit brain dead today yes. I've been I've been working on a website mm. so mm. Oh, and you eyes are a bit befuddled and you're not feeling yeah. great because you've overdone it on the chili the, still, the olives and the juices I'm yes. still suffering from yeah, that <laughs> too much chili juice <laughs> <laughs> never mind we've had to take it very you, <laughs> quiet today we haven't been anywhere or done anything well I've done a load of washing and cleaning and I have put some well Steve did it for me he put some pink hair dye on for me didn't you but it's not took terribly well I'm quite the hairdresser you know yeah and then you put my hair in a plait <laughs> didn't you yeah which I'm very very pleased with we'll show you that mm. anyway so now we'll get on with the crack on yeah. question number one He's answering these, are you or me, or we both? Yes, both. Oh! What? At, what? at what age did you go on your first Stank. date, mm. Wendy? I well. think... No, I think I was 13. 13? Mm. Hmm. Far younger than me. What time did I go? Oh. Well, it might have been 14. Mm. I went on my first date. It was mm. a boy I met at the youth club at the church. Mm. Mm. And uh, I liked him. Yeah. At 14, I pretty much liked all girls. <laughs> <laughs> and what is an ideal first date for you? Oh. An ideal first date? Well, I think, um, I think going to the movies. That's a, that's a that's a good one. And I like doing that, and I like going to restaurants, and I like going to pubs. Mm. So ideal first date for me would be afternoon movie, followed up by a meal, and then, well maybe drinks first, mm. and then a yeah, nice meal. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I agree with you. I don't think I don't want to go to the movie, but I'd like to Theater. go to the pub. Theatre. Oh, theatre. I'd like the theatre, yes. I'd not theater be keen or on movie. pictures, I, yeah. I really like theatre. So do I, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not so keen on the pictures. That's but I'm, I do hear now... That's why our, our whole life is a theatre. <laughs> <laughs> but now, up days, I believe you can have, like, armchairs and things like that. And you can eat, you can get drinks, proper drinks and stuff um, in there, so... Mm. Right, next. next one. What is at the top of your bucket list? <sighs> Oh, the me. I, well. Oh, I, I think I'm doing quite a lot of things that have been on my bucket list. Um, Do you know, I think we live such a wonderful mm, life. Yeah, no, I can't. There isn't, there no. isn't much no, that no. I actually want to achieve before I die. No, no. Because that's, that's what the bucket list, you oh. know, the things that are on your bucket list are things you want to do before oh. you kick the bucket yeah. or die. But, you know, I... I'm pretty happy. I mean, I'm still, yeah, I mean, obviously we want to go travelling to all loads more countries in Europe, but that's that's yes. I, I, uh, uh, it, what I think top of my bucket list yeah. then yes would be to buy a motorhome in Australia and mm. do the big Australian tour. Oh yes, yes. Because yes. that that would mm. that would um, do two things: it give us lots of time to travel mm. around Australia and. Mm. see our uh, eldest son, wife, mm. and two grandsons. Mm. But I don't want to do that until Pippin dies, because it'll be a long time to leave her. 
It's on the bucket list. Mm. It will be before we die anyway, yes. Mm. yes. Not on Pippin's bucket list. No. <laughs> we will do it. We will do it. We will do oh, it. Mary, yes. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry if we've offended anybody. What? No. <laughs> We're not going to do anything. I'm not going to do that particular thing until no, Pippin dies. No, it's a long... We'd take about a year, I guess, going round Australia and, you know. Yeah. Um, next one. Um, what is something you're gifted at? Ooh. Oh. These are very hard, aren't I... they? Many people have said that I'm gifted at gabbing. Or that I've got the gift of the gab. <laughs> <laughs> I've always got an opinion. I've always got something to say. Mm. Not often caught mm. for a nothing to say. Mm. Gift of the gab. That's me. <laughs> Some people might, might have said, I've kissed the Blarney stone. Mm. Oh, dear. Mm. I have family mm. that come from Kilkenny. Mm. Yeah, they do, didn't they? Mm. Yeah. Anyway. What about you? What are you gifted oh, at? Oh, I think I'm gifted at looking after animals. I've really got a closeness to them and I think I've been blessed to look after them it's the and kindness. to communicate with them. Yes, yes. Wendy's the kindest person I've ever met. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I love it. Um, what's the first book you remember reading? Not a Penny More, Not a Penny Less mm -hmm. by Geoffrey Archer. Yeah. Or... Uh, or a little known book called Comain sci fi. Mm. Not many people know about it, and I've never been able to find it again. No. Mind you, I've only read two books in my entire life. Well, you three you maybe. Have, Steve, yes. Three or four, yeah. I don't know. The Golden mm. Griffin. Well, it's at school. <laughs> <laughs> not a penny more, not a penny less. By Geoffrey Archer and Comain by mm. who knows. Mm. You have to Google that. Would you mm. like to read any of them again? I'd like to watch the movies. <laughs> yeah. I'm not big on reading books. I'm no, really not big no. on it because my attention span, unless it's, uh, I don't know, my attention span is not mm. good enough for books. I, you know, mm. I don't have the focus. I don't have the, and I'm a, I'm a little bit dyslexic. Not a self-diagnosed dyslexia. Because I sometimes my brain reads ahead of my eyes, if you like. I don't know. So I sometimes muddle up the next sentence mm. with this sentence and nothing makes sense. That's hard. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, hard and what about you? I suppose I can remember reading the Janet and John books when I first oh, went I to school. And I really, I really loved those books I thought the pictures were lovely and mm. the smell of them that's how I first I think liked oh. books um, and then after that um, I remember the teacher being very pleased with me she she went to she took me to the other class and got me to read to another teacher because I, I just seemed to pick it up reading and it's true because I love reading um, and <laughs> after that it was Enid Blyton books oh I loved Enid Blyton <laughs> books absolutely loved them yes <laughs> Uh, my sister-in-law yep. tried to get me to read Enid Blyton books. Mm. I um, loved them. Yeah. Sheila, you won't know her. I do know her. No, you might, but they won't. Oh, no, they won't know. I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> she, she, she couldn't believe that I'd never read no. or heard of Enid Blyton. No. I hadn't. No, you hadn't. And I was about yeah. 10 or 11. Mm. Not heard mm. of it. Anyway. Mm. What's the one item you can't leave home without? Oh dear, there isn't dear, anything no. really, apart from being dressed. Mm. Um, mm. I like to take sunglasses. Yeah. I really do like to wear sunglasses. Nothing else. No. I usually take my wallet. Yeah. I usually take my phone. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. if I leave home without them, mm. so what? No, we don't mind, do we? No. Never no. been out without I the, keys, the keys. The keys. The keys to the van. We can't leave home without. But can't, yeah, keys. Yeah. 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 Keys to get back yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What is the best compliment you've ever received? Mm. Oh, I think someone 
when I was younger said to me, or a man said to me, oh, you've got the most beautiful hair I've ever seen. Mm. Mm. And I was very flattered by that. Because <laughs> I loved my hair because it was very long and blonde and I, yeah. So that's what I would say. Well. When I was young. But I think since I've got older, I think the best compliment I've received since I was an adult was you've done a great job bringing up those four boys. Mm. They've yeah. all turned out lovely. These days you don't often get compliments, no, do you? No. I suppose. No. I don't know. I once got I once got a compliment when I was at school, mm. and I got mm. I won a prize for it. Yeah. I won a prize for being the most improved student mm. in my class or in my year. Mm. Now, you might say that's a compliment, <laughs> or you might, a bit of a backhanded compliment, mm. really. Mm. So I don't know whether it was a compliment or not. Anyway, <laughs> I won a prize of two books. You did, didn't you? Yes. Weirdly, mm. and I don't mm. read. <laughs> <laughs> but I, get, I don't know. Yes, um, yeah. I, d mm. I have had yeah. other compliments mm. while I've been at work. Um, yeah, mm. yeah, in in difficult situations yeah. where I've, I've done a particularly good job. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. And then we've got one. What is your favourite quote? Uh, oh, you see. Oh my God. I do have a favourite quote, but I can't mm. blooming remember it. Mm. And it's by one of those Chinese philosophers. We should have like, it at the tip of our it, fingers. It's, it's like um, if the th it's something like if the thing is worthwhile. Mm. If a th then, job's worth doing, it's worth doing mm, well. Sort of, but it's, it's like a bit that. more is than that. Is it a bit more yeah. than that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If a thing's mm. worthwhile, it's it mm. has its mm. own value type thing. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. I said, I don't know, I was just thinking about, you know, those quotes where you say, don't wait for tomorrow, do it today, or tomorrow might never come, and don't put off things, and that's sort of along the line of it, or, you know, something like that. And then we've got nearly two more. What is your star sign? I'm a Taurus. And I'm an Aries. And we were both born in the same year, so I'm a little bit, a few, three weeks older than Steve. <laughs> and do you have any birthmarks? If so, where? Yep. Yes, I have got one. I've got, I've got a birthmark on my leg, which um, really, really, you, and you might not think this, it was really em embarrassing for me when I was uh, young at school, it was a brown mark on the front of my shin, and on a. It, of course, when it was when I was young, it was darker, and it was always it always looked like a dirty mark on mm -hmm. on my leg. And of course, wearing shorts at school, you know, people always. Mm -hmm. well, I don't think anybody ever mentioned it, but I was always like conscious of it. Mm -hmm. There you are. I'm not there, are not it? Uh, yeah, it's still there. Mm. I don't really notice it anymore. But there you are. And I've got sort of a reddish mark on the bottom of my back, top of my bum. And everyone, kids used to say that, oh, it's your telephone dial. <laughs> you did that as well. I said that. Because yeah. it was sort of round yeah. and it had yeah. dots around yeah. it. It was mm. like an old fashioned mm. um, telephone dial. Yeah. When you put your finger in. Yeah, you did. Well, it did say look that. exactly yeah. like yeah. a telephone now. And the funny mm. thing is, um, I don't know if it's funny, but our youngest son Ben, he's got one in exactly the same place. So mm. I wonder if that's hereditary. It's weird, that, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I don't know anybody else got a brown mark in the front yeah. of their chin. No. Now. No. Mm. So anyway. that's the end of the well, question and answer. There you are. <laughs> That's a that's a bit mm, more information type, about yes, us. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah. 
Oh, you've got stumped on a couple we of We did, they've been we? very taxing. I don't know why. What's, on your, not... what's on your bucket list? We yeah, I don't know. know. You know, maybe we're so contented we don't need a bucket the list. The thing is, though, we, they sort of come at you and we've not read them before, mm. so we didn't have time to think about it. It's if you do, it, it, it? yeah, it's mm. easier, isn't it, if you know that's coming. If yeah. you know someone's going to ask you in half an hour what's on your bucket list. Or well, here's the so... thing. We got stumped by the bucket list. Put in the comments below... Yeah. The number one thing that's on your mm. bucket list. Mm. What's on your bucket list? Tell us below. Mm. Put it in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this little Q&A... Yeah. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up, definitely. And don't forget to subscribe mm. if you want to keep on following our adventure as we travel around the UK and Europe living full-time in our motorhome.